Hello everyone, we have this RCA model number is a LED 55C 55R120Q Plug the TV to the power So you can see the standby light is on the red uh, LED Let me test uh, the TV a little bit ago Let me push the power button that LED it's still red but now is uh, responding to the power button I can get the backlight on and we got this screen you can see how is the screen so I'm gonna push like a menu button If I push the menu button, the TV goes off. The input button is making the TV goes off as well. So here we're going to check the, the 5 volt. Five volt standby. I'm going to push the power button. And we'll see if we're going to have the other voltages. Okay, you can see this is 12. And this here, we have the 12 volt. It's good. 5 volt as well. And other 5 volt. So this board, this board is taking the power from the power board and this board is between the main board and the screen. The processor is very hot. Yeah, could be something wrong with this processor. So we have 12 volt. Alright, so could be something is wrong with the processor could be a software issue so let's uh, try to load the new software in the apron go on google and so we just tape the model number is a led and you can see it over here and so here let's check this one And in this website, there is a lot of EPROM softwares that you can load for a different TVs. And this is RCA and our TV is here. So this is the file that we need. So I already downloaded the file and I, uh, I did open it with the WinRAR. This is the, the EPROM file. I'm going to load it to the EPROM. Then we go from there. This is the, the main board. And this is the EPROM. So the EPROM which has the pen number one. Is the one by that triangle for the arrow. And they do have this EPROM programmer. This one here. That I use it for the Macbooks, laptops or even the TVs. So first let's... The red, the red one, let's go to the pen number one, where is the triangle is. So some EPROMs you can program them in the, in the board. If that didn't go right, the time we have to take the EPROM from the board and program it with the computer. The program for the EPROM. And we go to detect. So we can detect the chip, that's okay for the error, and I'm gonna go to read. So you can see here, it doesn't, it's good to read. So let me try again, maybe one of the pens has a bad connection. Let's try again. I 
right now with the reading. Yeah, we wait for it till it's done. Then uh, we save the file in case we need it later. So as you see before, it's the look like the file is for the same motherboard. Do you see this one? Three three nine three. LUM and the same as the motherboard right here 3393 LUM MSD so it's the same chip so that's the one that we need so here is done a reading and I am going to save this file in case we need it later so we're going to give it a name RCA one so it's save it here and here I'm gonna extract this file on the desktop the file is there we go let's empty the, the apron That was quick. Let's read it to be sure it's empty. No, it's not. You can see it said it's already did, but it's not because it's something maybe a bad connection somewhere here. So after I tried a couple times and they get a good connection. You can see now the chip it's uh, this empty and we give us a time is about like almost one second so let's uh, try to read yep or uh, so let me try again and let's read so after I delete the, the chip and I, I read it again to be sure the chip is empty, it was all F's here. Then I go to the to the open. I deselect the file that I download and I did go to the write. So now the file is writing. It's gonna verify the file that we have here with the file that's inside the chip here. And if everything is the same, this means the programming the chip is good. So here it's done. So it's good to go. Let's test it. So after I change the, the APROM software, it's still the screen doing the same thing. And uh, the processor is getting very hot, this chip here. So this is MSD3393LUM. I have another board for parts. It's a MSD339LU. There is no M in the end. I'm not sure if this M is making any difference. So let's try it and see if that's going to work.
the chip you can see this one just l u not l u m and uh, so we have the red light over there the standby light I'm gonna push the power button yeah I didn't connect the the screen shall I be sure that the TV checks so there is the backlight so look like everything is good let me unplug it gonna connect the screen and let's test it Backlight is on and you can see we have something on the screen.